What former FBI officials, I mean, what evidence is there of some sort of long-term plot to have American baby, bo babies born here and then become terror, raised as terrorists overseas and then come back here? Well, at this point, I don't have the hard evidence right here in front of me. However, this is something that is being talked about by various members of Congress. This is being looked into. This is an issue with uh, not only folks coming across our southern border with what is called anchor babies uh, and coming over for the entitlement programs and, and for that sort of thing, but I think that this is a lot more sinister uh, issue. All of these issues we need to look at because this is a critical, critical issue for all of the American, American public. But, but, but you have no actual evidence? Other than that coming from former FBI folks. Can you tell us who these former FBI folks are? And what evidence they have or what evidence they've shown you? At this point, I'm not uh, going to reveal that. Again, no proof offered. For the record, we talked to the FBI. They told us there's absolutely no evidence of this terror baby conspiracy. Riddle's office never got back to us since that interview, but we are very happy that Congressman Gomer agreed to be on the program tonight. He joins us now live. Congressman, thanks for being with us. Um, you, uh, you heard uh, Tom Fuentes. We had him on the program last night. He was a former high-ranking FBI official who oversaw FBI offices in some of the biggest terror hotspots in the Middle East. He was on the program last night, and he said this whole idea is, in his words, ludicrous, and there's absolutely no evidence or even concerned about it ever in the FBI. Here's, here's just some of what he said. There was never a, a credible report, or any report for that matter, uh, coming across uh, through all the various mechanisms of communication to indicate that there was such a plan for these terror babies to be born. So before going on the House floor and spreading this story, did you, did you call the FBI? You're going to keep me honest? You tell the world that you got an FBI statement? You bring on a retired FBI uh, former supervisor, and he says, we were not aware of any credible report that this was going on? I brought it to the attention of America for this reason. It was here. I'm a former judge. I know did, it was Did you bring it to the attention of the FBI? Did you call the FBI? That's my question. brought it to my attention on the... I, she brought it to my attention on an airplane, uh, having flown together, and she brought that to my attention. That's why I was talking to the retired FBI agent about it. And so, having talked to him, no, I didn't talk to them, because the point is, when we did the research, we found the whole existed. Now, if Wait, you're what, wanting what research, me to come what research? in... Could you tell us about the research? You're attacking the messenger. Anderson, you're better than this. You used to be good. You used to find that there was a problem, and you would go after it. Sir, I'm, I'm just asking for messenger. evidence of now, something sure, you I said on the floor with of the a House. Accent, I did, and you listen. This is a problem. If you had spent as much time looking into the problem as you have been trying to come after me and belittle me this week, sir, you would do you want to offer any evidence? I'm giving you an opportunity to say what research and evidence you have. You've offered none, other than yelling. Do you ever look at your website? Do you ever look at your website? Do you? Yes, sir. Because if you had, you would have seen that Tony said that there are people that go from his his neighborhood come back and they have a baby in American passport. Just in what in uh, the Washington Post, July 18th, 2010, here's a, here's a story. What can $14,750 buy you in modern China for that price? You right, sir, what you're talking about is something sir, more lasting more. Sir, what you're talking about though is tourists coming here, to sir. The, please let me just say, what you're, you're talking about is tourists who are coming here. And you're refusing to look at the gaping hole in the security of our country. Sir, I mean, you're, you're just being a demagogue. You're just yelling. You're not actually this. having a conversation. This, can, can you I, may I respond to you? Finish this article. This says I, I know we they, had the article on the paper. That U.S. citizenship. Yes. Their children can have a more fair competitive advantage if they spend the money and come over here and get an American passport. You get three Sir, months. In I the agree US with you. That was in the Washington visa, Post, and there are hotels and, here which sponsor now, these people well, and and, and allow is, these people to come. But there's no evidence, evidence you of have terror to babies. That the terrorists are more stupid than these enterprising people. They say that this business, the so-called birth business, birth tourism packages are online. Have you looked online? Yeah. They're online. Okay, all sir, you have to do is uh, go again, online, I'm agreeing with you that there are tourists. In the US, sir, you can continue you to yell all you want. Again, you're just showing you yourself not back. to have actually any evidence. What I'm saying is, yes, those newspaper articles, clearly, I there are many believe, tourists who come what? here 
to have Would babies so they can have U.S. citizenship. Actually, Do you have any evidence of, of, of terror babies? Who have sent, kit, sent pregnant women over here to have babies. And uh, I know that if I give you the name before I get it to people who will be objective, you'll send somebody like the refi retired FBI agent and say, sir, we have information here that you sent your pregnant wife into the United States. The, the FBI says this is just there. not you happening. Send them over there. You're, you're just spreading scare stories. Is this happening. is completely about politics. It is happening. It is happening. Where? Give and me some evidence. Tell me one person, after the, one terror baby that's been born. This, Can you tell me? The explosions will not happen for 10, 15, 20 years. And then you will be one of those blips. I'm not comparable to Winston Churchill, but the detractors like you are comparable to his detractors. Right. Okay. He tried to tell people this things were going on. Right. Anderson, do you really believe that the ones who want to destroy the United States are more stupid than these entrepreneurs in China, okay. than these people in Mexico coming Well, sir, one of the things that the former do FBI... You, do you think there's that stupid? Are you willing to have a conversation or do you want to just yell? One of the things that the former FBI you will agent not pointed let out. Let me present what we have. Okay, one of the you former. You build a case. One based of the former on the FBI. Blocks, one of the former FBI agents there. pointed out in this program last night that terrorist groups have no problem recruiting U.S. citizens, have no problems sending people over here that they don't he need to prepare 20 said years from now. There was no credible report of such a plan. Right, where is and it? I bet you on 910, he would have come on your show and said there is no credible report of a plan to take down the World Trade okay. Centers so, because so, he didn't have one. So you don't but believe you the FBI at, when they currently say there's no credible shots report? At me and look at the gaping hole in the security of this country. I'm an easy target. You and John Stewart can have your fun. But please, at some point, look at the gaping hole in our security. Sir, I, I don't think there's anything fun about a congressman going onto the House floor and spreading scare stories. Messages. I don't think there's anything fun about that. And, and going on My some TV show where you don't get challenged about it. If you want to just yell about it all day long, you're certainly welcome to do that. We don't normally do I that on this program. I've offered you to present you some to form of evidence, and you presented nothing. In our security, and people are coming in here, it, the evidence abounds. This called birth tourism. Right. And the yes, only there is birth tourism. I totally agree with you. Is if you can convince America that the people who send engineers to look at the plans and specs for the World Trade Center are more stupid than those entrepreneurs in China and Mexico who are sending people okay. in here to have uh, Again, this is American a theory that you are propagating that you have no evidence later. for. There is a thing, birth tourism, but there's no evidence in any of those articles you've cited the that terrorists that are actually partaking you, in that. Obviously, the building blocks to this case, you won't be satisfied till I bring in someone who says, I'm a terrorist and you're right. I sent my No, I'll take, I'll take a legitimate in. former she FBI agent who here. actually offers evidence. If you can present that person, let us know off camera. We'd be happy to talk to them off camera. I but so far, you presented FBI nothing. I FBI agent. I, I promised him I would not reveal his name. Well, that's and convenient. We, we've had a former FBI agent, a high-ranking one on this office, who oh, says well, it's ridiculous. Go look, if you go look at this story in the Washington Post... I've read it. We had it on this program. The they say nothing rules, about terrorism. They, they say that they won't give their names under rules of uh, the embassy. So... It's okay for other people. No, I'm just saying in, in the Washington Post article that I you're quoting, I've read it. We've had it on this program. I agree. There's birth tourism. It's a well-documented fact. There's no evidence, though, of, of terror read, babies being born here. Have you read and had on your program the, the pleading that was filed by Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? It was declassified March of 2009. I bet you hadn't had that on. He says, We're, we fight you and destroy you and terrorize you. The jihad is God's cause and a great duty in our religion. Your end is very near and your fall will be just as the fall of the towers on blessed 9-11 day. These guys are not stupid. They're crazy jihadists, but they're not stupid. I, I the agree. They're not, they're not stupid and they're crazy jihadists. I absolutely agree with you. Again, I'm just asking for evidence and you presented none and yet you continue to spread this story. Keep, I'm not taking shots at you, sir. I'm just asking for evidence and for some the, reason oh, you've been you seem unwilling. you shots for two days. You've twisted things. You've, you've announced who at the FBI on active duty at the FBI told you that there are no such credible Report. We have a Who statement from the FBI. We have the statement from the, from the spokesperson yep. of the All FBI. Right. I'd be happy to give it to you. I, if you had I actually heard. called them before going on the House and before going on television and spreading scare stories, you would know that. I'm sure and they would tell they you they even more information. But apparently, there you chose no not to do that. There was report of a plan to bring down the towers because... All you okay. have to do is look at the gaping hole in our security. And Sir, you're a former there. judge. Had somebody done this in your courtroom, you would have asked for evidence, and up. you have none. 
I appreciate your time. I appreciate this you coming on. I'm disappointed you, you did not present any evidence. We're trying to protect America, Anderson. Everyone We're wants to protect, to protect America, America, Congressman. It's not a courtroom. Okay. Everyone wants to protect America, Congressman, both Come Democrats on, and better, uh, Republicans. Anderson. Look Congressman, at the story. Appreciate Look at your the time. Hole. Help us fill the hole. Lou Help Gilmer, us fill the hole, Anderson. Appreciate your time. Let us know what you think about the baby theory. Again, we invite anybody who has any evidence of this. Again, the Congressman could present any evidence anytime.